Hello everybody, how you doing today? So I've decided to uh, um, make a fence, uh, making a few sections to go in my backyard basically um, to open up the area where my dogs go. Um, they have about a 70 foot span by 12 foot span that goes in the back of the house that I have temporarily, uh, well I say temporarily but it's been uh, quite a few years now, uh, I made pallet fences back there. And they've served their purpose, they're great, they're actually still in pretty good condition and work well. Um, however, I want to expand the area out a little bit, and um, but I want to make a fence. So, I mean, I've looked into so many fences of what to do, this and that, um, what types to go. Um, I decided to get pickets, um, separate pickets, they're five and a half inch wide pickets by... Um, are five and a three quarter inch wide pickets by six foot tall. Um, so I got 40 pickets, got a bunch of two by fours, all kinds of other wood and stuff. Um, and I'm gonna flip you around and show you where I've started basically so far. And um, you know, we'll continue to uh, show you just about pretty much step by step about how I'm doing this. So here I have laid out um, the two by fours on the ground, and then I have all the pickets. Um, so what I did was I, I need a 14 foot section for one area so I'm going to make two 7 foot sections. So this will be the first one. Um, I have the two 2 by 4s laid down and they're measured both at 7 feet. Then I have the pickets laid down um, and basically what I did was I left a little bit on the end and I measured one and a half inches here, one and a half inches there. Uh, same on this side, one and a half inches here, one and a half inches there. Then I found the central point between the inside of the two outside pickets. And when I got the central point, I got this one on here. So right now, all I have is two screws in here on the ends of each end piece, and then I have two screws here in the middle. So I don't have any screws on the top side yet. I do have it measured out, as I said, one and a half inches to each side of the the top parts and um, and I have this middle picket measured out and centralized um, to the top portion as well but I'm going to be sliding uh, that top 2 by 4 up further on these outside and center pickets of course I don't want um, this much of an overhang up top so I measured 7 inches from the bottom of the 2 by 4 to the bottom of the pickets and that's where I'm going to have, um, you know, all of them tied in, seven inches here. So that's where I'm at now. I am going to now find um, measurements from the center picket to the outside picket on each side and see how many I can put in here. I wanted to have like a five inch gap roughly in between pickets. It might be four and a half, might be five and a half. It depends on what the measurements are and how many pickets I can fit. So I'm gonna do that, take my measurements, figure all that out, and then I'll get back to you and let you know. All right, so there it is. Basically, what I did was after measuring one and a half inches for a little bit of overhang here on the fence and then starting my pickets on the outside and then finding the central point, it couldn't have been any more perfect to line these up at three and three quarter inches between each picket. It was absolutely perfect. Three and three quarter inch, right on the money, right in between every picket. Um, so I just fired it out. It literally took me like 10 minutes. So uh, I took multiple measurements. Um, you know how they say, measure twice, cut once. I mean, obviously the only thing I had to cut was the two by fours, but I want these pickets lined up as perfect as possible so I measured and measured and measured the other side and measured back in the other side and went back and forth um, I wound up doing seven inches at the bottom eight inches at the top three and three quarter in between each picket and it was nine pickets to a seven foot two by four with an inch and a half overhang on each side um, three and three quarter inch in between each one so that's basically it um, the only other thing that I am going to do and it is actually pretty strong um, I'm gonna put a third two by four 
in the very central position of, of the pickets. Um, just so there's no flex over time. It's going to be a lot more durable, um, especially when my dog's jumping on it and pushing it um, in the weather, of course. So I'm going to cut one more section of 7 foot 2 by 4 put it in the middle, take the measurements, inch and a half on each side, and then I'm also going to measure from here to here throughout everything with the 2 by 4 to make sure it's perfectly central. And... Uh, then we're going to have our first section. I mean, it took me a total of 20 minutes to put this seven foot section together. Um, you know, each one of these pickets costs less than two bucks. So it's uh, $18 in pickets and a couple of two by fours that also cost a couple bucks a piece. So, I mean, you can do a fence like this that's going to cost you 25 bucks roughly. Um, or you can buy a $40 section, you know, so I saved a lot of money by doing this. I think it looks nice um, Once I have the other section done and I have it up. I uh, will also show you You know the fence up and ready to go. So um, Yeah, that's where we're at. I'm using exterior Screws on here. So they're all painted. They're not gonna rust over time um, It'll probably outlast the wood who knows but um, Yeah, that's it and uh, hope you learned something. Hope you can build your own fence now like this pretty easily and uh, almost half the cost of buying sections. So there you have it. Just got the center piece in. So that's one seven foot long full picket fence that I just made. In a total of, you know, less than a half an hour it should take you to, to do this probably. I mean, that's what it took me anyhow. But so I got to build one more. Well, actually, I have to build like three more, but I'm going to build one more to get one section up that I want to do. Um, it's going to basically go from my neighbor's fence to our vegetable garden and uh, to extend out the dog's area probably about 40 feet or so, maybe a little bit more actually, maybe 60 feet. So um, that's it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope that you hit the like button if you like it. I hope you subscribe. And uh, be sure to subscribe, that way uh, you can see it all said and done and uh, actually up as a complete fence. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.